Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about Season 4 of the new Jurassic Park Netflix series, Camp Cretaceous. So, a lot of people have been speculating on where the new episodes could go after the events of Season 3, but I think the topics of Isla Sorna, the Spinosaurus, and other theories to do with what's coming soon shouldn't really be the only ideas getting discussed. With so little evidence to really go off on what exactly there is to expect, I thought it may be a good idea to take a step back and look at everything from a more open sort of perspective. So here are my thoughts on what could line up perfectly with the canon as far as Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous goes. And what if Season 4 doesn't end up on Isla Sorna's infamous Site B after all? <laughs> So, first things first, we should really start talking about where Season 3 left off. When Darius and the campers escaped Dr. Wu, they all got on a boat and basically left Nublar behind them. Now, the implication here is either that the series is ending, which we know isn't true because Colin Trevorrow has already confirmed that his personal favorite episode is in Season 4, or that they're going to go somewhere else for the next few episodes. Now, I've often stated that I think it would be really silly if they just ended up washing back on shore to Nublar because we already saw that happen in Season 3, and it just seems very boring to set it there. But what I actually overlooked, and I, I need to say this now because it does make a lot of sense, is the fact that there are storylines and plot points and new dinosaur things in Camp Cretaceous that were actually opened up somewhere else. They were introduced in something called the Jurassic World Live Tour, which does take place on Nublar after the events of the fall of Jurassic World. And I think this might just tie in heavily with what we could expect to see in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. So where where does that lead us? Well, we could either have a story set on the mainland, Nublar, or maybe even both. And why do I say this? Well, in the Jurassic World live tour, there actually is a group of humans that goes back to Nublar in order to rescue or really get in contact with a dinosaur named Genie. Now, Genie is a troodon. They had a similar situation on the island set up for where people would actually try to find out how intelligent they were, just like Ibris did with Owen Grady's raptors. But the troodon situation was a little bit different because they actually do transport dinosaurs from Isla Nublar to Chile. And on the Chile base, which is where Engine actually has a little operation going, there are wild raptors. And this is something that I think a lot of people forget when they go back over Jurassic World stuff because it happened right at the beginning of the pandemic. And unfortunately, the live tour got shut down and not too many people were able to see it. But in the live tour, they do have a set up plot line where not only do people go from Nublar to the mainland, but there are dinosaurs on the mainland in a very remote location. And on top of all of that, those bioluminescent Parasaurolophus that we got to see in Season 1 and 3 of Camp Cretaceous, well, that wasn't the first time we saw dinosaurs with that abilities, because in the live tour, there actually was a Stegosaurus with this as well. So what does this mean for the future of Camp Cretaceous? Well, again, this is just theory time, but if they don't go to Site B, we need to start thinking about this. What if they don't go to Isla Sorna? I think a really good explanation for where the new episodes could take place is in the story of the Jurassic World live tour. Now, does that mean that Darius and all the others are going to end up in Chile, which is way farther away from Isla Sorna, and end up, you know, doing battle with Manticore or Raptors or something else? I don't know. It's a possibility, though, because we already know that there are people like Dr. Wu that are aware that there are kids on Nublar. So there could be anybody at any given point in time, especially with the drones that we saw in the last season looking after the E750 project Scorpius Rex. There could be any amount of people at any given point in time trying to contact contact these people and maybe even kidnap them like what we're alleged to believe happened to Sammy's family. This is something that I don't think a lot of people are thinking of right now, but I'll say it again, Jurassic World Live Tour. It introduced some ideas that have lined up pretty closely with Camp Cretaceous, so let's just keep that open in case Sorna isn't the main objective for Season 4. Other than that, there's also another island that I think makes a lot of sense as well, and that would be Isla Morta, which is part of the Los Cinco Mortes archipelago, and it's known as Site C. Now, if you haven't heard of Site C before, you're probably scratching your head like, Clayton, what the hell are you talking about? But actually, Jeff Goldblum himself described Isla Morta as being Site C 
in Jurassic World Evolution. And what's interesting about that is the fact that it's not the first time that if this is Site C in hard canon, it's not the first time they've done a little bit of a tease before. Because in one of the last pieces of DLC they released with that game, Jurassic World Evolution introduced Biosyn by name with Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, and Laura Dern for the first time in the series history. Now we know that Biosyn is going to be a big part of Dominion. And before any of this happened, we just knew there was a rival company. We didn't know if they were necessarily Biosyn itself from the novels, or if it was just something completely made up, because Jurassic Park 1 didn't really give us any info on it. But no, they introduced Biosyn with the original cast in Jurassic World Evolution. So it's kind of easy for me to wrap my mind around the idea that Jeff Goldblum could have been lining up Camp Cretaceous to go to Isla Morta if Isla Morta and Site C and all that stuff was in the playing cards back in 2017, which is when Camp Cretaceous started development. Now, another thing that we should talk about Isla Morta and Site C in general is that BD Wong, Dr. Henry Wu, also said his more elaborate hybrid work was on Site C in that video game. And again, we have to think that maybe this was a tease and if it was, this is a proper theory that could get expressed and looked after in the next season. But even if that's not the case, we should still think about it because you don't just get actors to say things like Sight C and Biosyn if you're not going to play up on those things in the future, right? I mean, Sight C, that's something that was going to be used for Jurassic Park 3 a long time ago. You don't just throw that in a new video game. And if it's not Isla Morta, it could easily be other islands in the Los Cinco Mortes archipelago. I mean, it could be Tacaño, it could be Pena. Who knows? Or it really just could be Isla Sorna, which is also something that we've seen teased before in things like the Dinosaur Protection Group website and, and really Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom as a whole. So in conclusion, what if they don't go to Isla Sorna in Season 4? Well, Isla Morta and Chile or maybe Nublar are actually good bets in my opinion. And if they don't go to any of these places, who's to say that they don't create a brand new story that is just introducing all kinds of new elements on the mainland or somewhere else that we don't know about. It's always possible for them to go off in some sort of bizarre, strange direction with these things. Nobody thought there would ever be another hybrid after the Indoraptor, so it really is uncharted territory at this point. Personally, I gotta tell you guys that I'm 50-50 on the idea that they'll go to Sorna or won't go to Sorna, but I think that the other two ideas of Isla Morta or just following the plot of Jurassic World Live Tour make a lot of sense too. Anyways guys, those are all just my thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. Now, I'd like to hear what all of you guys think. Do you believe that we will see the Jurassic World Live Tour play out in Season 4, whether it be on the mainland in Chile with those crazy raptors, or maybe just back on Nublar with the Troa on. And if all of this stuff doesn't happen, what are your thoughts on the idea that we could go to Isla Morta? Site C has always been kind of a silly idea to me because we, we could just keep naming islands site something or other. When we get to M or L, it'll be ridiculous. But hey, they, they made Jeff Goldblum say it out loud in a video game. There's something to that. Now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it really means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.